British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has said boats full of migrants should be sent back to Libya to stop them reaching European shores. Italy is on the front line of Europe's migrant crisis, taking in more than 400,000 refugees over the past three years, many of them saved from rickety boats pushed out to sea by people smugglers based in North Africa. Now, Johnson's demand is controversial because it is illegal to turn back migrant boats in international waters, and the UN-backed government in Libya has not invited European ships into its territorial waters. Richard Bestick reports. The flow of migrants making the perilous crossing from Libya to Italy shows no sign of slowing. Thousands setting off on the journey every week, most in entirely unsuitable and overcrowded boats. Thousands survive only because of European Union and Libyan Coast Guard rescue operations, an apparently unending crisis. Now UK Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson in Italy discussing post-Brexit relations with his counterpart Paolo Gentiloni has said the European Union naval force deployed in the Mediterranean should prevent the boats from reaching Italy. Migrants should be turned back as close to Libya as possible, he said, to stop them attempting the crossing and act as a deterrent to others. Britain has two warships engaged in the EU's Operation Sophia Launched last year, the operation claims to have saved more than 26,000 people and arrested 87 suspected traffickers. But a spokesman is reported to say its ships have no authority to enter Libyan territorial waters and it would be illegal to turn back migrant boats found in international waters. The UK Foreign Secretary, for his part, has claimed it was part of Operation Sophia's mission to return boats back to shore. Richard Bessick, CCTV, London.